All right, hey, what's going on guys? Awesome to see you guys as usual. Dre here, welcome back to the channel. All right, so got a quick and exciting video for you guys today, especially if you guys are iPhone users. So recently Apple unveiled at your WWDC event, maybe about uh, two months by now, its latest version of the iPhone operating system, iOS 16, which will include a bunch of new and exciting features. Now I'm gonna go through some of the more exciting ones and make some comparisons to iOS 15 so you can have a better look at some of the changes that are expected to be coming later on this fall. So let's not waste any more time and just go straight into the comparison. All right, so first off to begin with, I have iOS 15 still running on my iPhone 13 Pro and I have installed the public beta version of iOS 16 on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I can, you know, kind of provide some visual comparisons where applicable for you guys. Also, just so that you guys know, you can go ahead and download the public beta version of iOS 16 to test if you'd like. But be mindful that the beta version will actually not be as stable as the official release. So certain apps might be a bit glitchy, but I'll still go ahead and leave a link in the description for you to go ahead and test if you are interested to do so. All right, so straight away, the most obvious and perhaps the biggest update is gonna be to the lock screen. Now, Apple has definitely overall the total look and function of the lock screen here when you, you know, compare it to iOS 15. But before we dive in, one of the first subtle changes that I definitely noticed first off was to the actual lock on the lock screen. Now, if you look closely, you can see on iOS 15 that when the phone is unlocked, it pretty much shows an open lock. But on iOS 16, that's changed to now the lock just totally disappearing when the phone is unlocked. Now, I'm realizing that Apple is definitely paying um, some more of an, an attention to you know, you know, the smaller details here. And I absolutely love that. Also, we are now seeing that notifications have now moved a bit closer down to the bottom of the iPhone, which on iOS 15, you can definitely see is usually located more to the top, which, you know, usually covers your beautiful wallpaper. Another small but very, very important update. Now this change definitely will make it a bit easier to operate the iPhone with one hand. But on top of that, the new update will also support live activities. That's definitely another useful feature that will help you to stay on top of things in real time, like you know tracking your food order status, uh, tracking or checking game status if you're a sports fan like I am. Uh, to stay up to date with you know the latest scores and definitely plenty plenty more all this will be accessible right from your lock screen again just these small details here can definitely make a huge difference now another new feature on iOS that I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna really love and appreciate and that's now the ability to unlock your phone when holding your phone in horizontal mode, which is really clutch because I don't know about you guys, but when I'm in bed, I usually hold my phone horizontally. And to unlock my iPhone, I usually have to turn it vertically in order to unlock the iPhone. Now, these are definitely some small, but really useful updates on iOS 16 so far that I've noticed. But let's get to the more bigger updates to the lock screen. And yes, iPhone users are now finally able to customize their lock screen. Now with this new feature, you're gonna be able to customize how information actually appears on the screen. Photos can be placed in front of things like the time and date, making the aesthetic looking like a bit more of a 3D type effect um, than before, and certainly definitely better than anything you're likely gonna find on any Android at the moment. Yes, I said it. You can also select from various fonts, uh, color schemes, and text to dial in your preferred look. Also, you can go ahead and add widgets now to the lock screen, such as the time, the battery status, calendars, weather, etc. To customize this, all you'll have to do is to just tap on any part of the lock screen. Of course, the phone has to be unlocked first before you'll be able to proceed. Then what you'll do, you'll go into editor and just style it the way you want. But wait, there's actually more. With this new update, your lock screen can now be connected to your different focus modes. Now to activate it, you're gonna swipe to the corresponding lock screen and iOS will suggest a relevant set of lock screen like personal, sleep, 
work and do not disturb. As you swipe and change the focus mode, all the notification settings related to these modes will apply and actually extend to the home screen as well. Moving on to another feature of iOS 16, and that's the ability to now edit and unsend messages in the message app. So no more embarrassing typos, that's gonna be a thing of the past now. So if you notice a typo after a message, you'll actually be able to edit the message after the fact. No, I'm not sure if there is actually going to be a time limit to this before you no longer will be able to edit a message, but I'm not seeing that there is any right now. But what will happen is that a tiny edited message will appear in the status under the message. So the person on the receiving end would actually see that the message has been edited. Next, and this might be actually my favorite new feature, you can immediately recall a sent message. So again, if you accidentally send an unfinished message or you sent the message to the wrong person, you can use the undo send tool to actually prevent it from being read. One important thing to note is that if the person you are messaging has not updated to the new iOS 16 software, then they will still be able to see the messages that were initially sent. So definitely still be a bit vigilant when sending messages. And last, still in the messaging app though, you can now mark messages as unread. Now this could be an excellent tool for when you don't have time to, you know, pretty much respond to a message at the moment, but want to definitely make sure you come back to it later. Definitely a very, very useful feature in my opinion. And the last new feature on iOS 16 that I personally want to highlight to you guys, and that's gonna be the visual lookup tap and drag for photos. Now in iOS 15, Visual Lookup analyzes your photos and can pretty much identify objects like plants, landmarks, and pets. iOS 16 now takes this to the next level. When you touch a photo subject, you can now lift it away from the background and add it to apps like Messages. Essentially, it's a tap and hold um, feature that removes a photo's background, pretty much like magic. Now I see a lot of people going to be using this feature a lot. So definitely kudos to Apple for that. So these are just some of the notable features of iOS 16 and the difference between iOS 15 and iOS 16. Now, of course, there are tons, when I mean tons, I mean tons of other new features that I personally wasn't able to feature in this video. So again, if you want to try out the public beta version of iOS 16 before the full release, which as I said, is due to be released around September, uh, then a link will be in the description uh, for you guys to check out. Also, another thing to note, Apple states that iOS 16 will only be available for those with an iPhone 8 or later. So if you have an iPhone 7 and earlier, then upgrade. What are you waiting on? iOS 16 is looking really, really good and I don't want you guys to miss out on the features that are to come. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by and to check out this quick overview of iOS 16. Now go ahead and check out some of my previous iPhone videos that I did and I'll see you guys again definitely in my next upload.